Hello. In this video, I'll be giving a brief overview of Scrivener Snapshots. This is a feature that will be given an overhaul in Scrivener 2.0, but the principles shown here will remain the same. The simple idea behind Snapshots is that you take a snapshot of your current document as it is, quite aptly named. If you are embarking on a major edit of a document, taking a snapshot prior to the edit will provide a point to return to. If, after the edit, you decide that you preferred the original document, this then becomes a simple step rather than a feat of memory. To take a snapshot of a text document, go to Documents, Snapshots, Take Snapshot, or press Command 5 on the keyboard. You will hear an audible response and see that the icon related to the document now has a curled corner. This curling indicates that this text file now has a snapshot associated with it. You can see that the icons related to the other documents in my project have remained normal. If I now go to Documents, Snapshots, Show Snapshots, whilst having the pertinent document selected, we can see the snapshot version of the document in the relevant window. So, I am now free to edit my documents knowing that I have a return point available. You can see that I am changing the original document by making a number of edits. I may now choose to take another snapshot. This time I am going to Documents, Snapshots, Tape Snapshot with Title or Option Command 5 on the keyboard. So I can name this particular snapshot. When I now go to Show Snapshots, I clearly see two versions of my document presented. One with the second draft title I just provided, and another untitled snapshot. I can readily change titles if I wish by double clicking. Now I have first draft as a title for the first snapshot. You can see that the two snapshots also have a date and time stamp associated, so I can always be sure of my snapshot order irrespective of name. I can now continue to make additional edits to my document. Maybe, at this point, I decide that I didn't like any of my changes. Going back to Documents, Snapshots, Show Snapshots, I can simply select my first draft snapshot and press Rollback. Before the document is reverted to its original form, I will be asked if I wish to take a further snapshot of my latest edits before rolling back to an earlier version. As I am in an indecisive mood, I will take another snapshot. Now you can see a third snapshot in the presented window, but my main text has rolled back to the original document. You may have noticed another couple of options in the snapshots menu. Take snapshots of selected documents will allow me to do just that. If I select these two documents, and go to Documents, Snapshots, Take Snapshots of Selected Documents. There will be snapshots available of either document as you can see. The final menu option is Take Snapshots of All Text Documents. This will take a snapshot of every text document in my entire project, not only the draft area. This is a great way to get a time-stamped copy of all the text documents in my project. I will obviously have to go into each document individually to see the associated snapshot, but as you can see, they will be there. That is Scrivener Snapshots. Goodbye for now.